Hello, welcome people. In this video, we want to concentrate on flagella. It's an important question. <clears throat> so, please focus here. What are flagella? Flagella are these thread-like appendages protruding from the cell wall. Okay. Uh, we are talking about bacteria here. They are going to help the bacteria and be motile. That means they can, bacteria can move because of flagella. So, they are locomotory organs of bacteria. They measure a few micrometer in length okay, and they are a few micrometer in thickness. We will not go to the details because anyways we will not remember all those details in the exam. <coughs> anyways for the other people who are not watching this video for exam, it is 20 micrometer in length, 5 to 20 micrometer in length and 0.01 to point 0 to micrometer in thickness. Okay. Now the arrangement of flagella. Now look at this. <clears throat> there are various patterns of arrangement of flagella with respect to the bacterial surface. You have monotrichus, amphitrichus, lophotrichus and peritrichus. See mono only one, amphi two, both sides one one. Lophotrichus a lot. Okay. It's more like a multiple polar flagella. And peritrichus all over the body, right? You can't say body, but flagella are distributed all over the entire cell surface, okay? So first look at monotrichus here. Oops. Is it seeming difficult? No, it's fine. Okay, good. Now monotrichus, it's about single polar flagellum. Who has this kind of uh, uh, flagella, you know? Monotrichus? Let's write that here. Monotrichus is actually vibrio cholerae. Let's do it. Let's write it here, not here. <clears throat> Monotrichus example. Vibrio cholerae. Okay. Then pseudomonas, campylobacter, all of them. Now coming to amphitrichus or both ends single flagella. That is like alkaligens fecalis. Okay. Alkaligens fecalis for amphitrichus. For lophotrichus, that is multiple polar flagella, you have uh, spirillum, spirillum will have this kind. And peritrichus means flagella distributed uh, uh, entire cell surface. So here you remember some examples that we actually study. Salmonella typhi that causes typhoid and E. coli. So E. coli and salmonella typhi are going to be like this peritrichus, vibrio cholerae is going to have Monotrichus uh, flagella and remember Vibrio cholera ex shows darting motility, correct? Very good. Now coming to, let's move back to the arrangement of flagella is over. <clears throat> now let us move on to bacterial flagella. Here no, what is flagella? Here we had to write something thread-like appendages organ of motility okay next example of motile bacteria everything we explained in the examples itself now ultra structure of flagella <clears throat> this uh, we only have drawn this diagram you have to draw it in the exam if they ask the structure the electron microscope reveals that the bacterial flagellum is composed of three parts so there are three parts here. There's a filament here, then a hook, then the basal body. This entire thing is basal body. Now the filament is the longest portion of the flagellum. It extends from the cell surface to the tip. It is a hollow rigid cylinder made up of single protein flagellum. <coughs> flagella has single protein flagellum. Okay, at least the filament we are seeing. Then coming to the hook. The hook is a short curved flexible segment. It is flexible, they are saying. And it is, uh, it links the filament to the basal body. Okay. Now coming to the basal body. Basal body is um, <clears throat> embedded in the cell, right? It is embedded in the cell. It is the most complex part, as you can see. It has two to four rings will be there. Now you can see how many rings here. L ring, P ring, S ring, M ring. M is membrane ring. L is peptidoglycan layer link, ring. This is periplasmic space. There are two here they have written. Now basically here what they have drawn is a structure of the ultraflagella 
the sorry ultra structure of the flagella in gram negative bacteria okay in most gram negative bacteria there are four rings outer rings like l and p associated with the lps that is lipopolysaccharide and peptidoglycan layers l means what lipopolysaccharide they didn't write that here in the diagram we will only write l means lipopolysaccharide p is peptidoglycan associated okay then inner s ring periplasmic space then m is what plasma membrane it's not difficult right okay so this is the ultra structure of the flagella the gram positive bacteria only two basal body rings the inner ring and the outer ring okay one is attached to the plasma membrane the inner one and the outer one is attached to peptidoglycan probably they're not even sure so this is what we have to say <coughs> Basal uh, hook is what? Hook is flexible. It is linking this uh, <coughs> filament to the basal body. Coming to basal body, in gram negative, there are four rings. In gram positive bacteria, two rings. That is peptidoglycan and membrane. Only peptidoglycan and membrane will be the rings in gram positive. Okay. Then that was the ultra structure of flagella. You have to, if they ask flagella structure, you have to draw this diagram. And if they ask anything about flagella, you have to draw this diagram. <coughs> Explaining monotrichus, amphitrichus, lophotrichus and peritrichus. Okay. Now ultra structure over. Next we want to move to detection of flagella or demonstration of flagella. Detection or demonstration of flagella. So how will you de demonstrate flagella and show that this is a motile bacteria. See it has flagella. You are in a microbiology lab. We give you two different bacteria. One is motile, the other is non-motile. You prove that it is uh, having flagella. How will you prove? Direct demonstration <clears throat> by tannic acid staining. This is called as Leifson's method or Rieu method. This you have to write in the exam. I know all these terms are weird. Leifson's method and RYU's method. Then you have dark ground phase contrast or electron microscope. This is easy, no? Dark ground phase contrast or obviously this type of microscope you can use or electron microscope. Electron microscope you can definitely see, no? So let's revise the direct demonstration. Tannic acid staining, dark brown face contrast microscope and electron microscope, okay? These three ways you can directly demonstrate flagella. This is called as Leifson method and Roos method. Leifson, Leifson one leaf we put off. Then we will remember what you say. Hold on. See, we inserted one leaf here. It is Leifson's method, tannic acid staining, okay? Leifson's method and Roos method. Now coming to indirect. Indirect uh, demonstration of uh, flagella or motility. Craig's, C-R-A-I-G-E, Craig tube method and uh, hanging drop method. Semi-solid medium. In semi-solid media it can move, right? Remember, in solid media it can't move, but in semi-solid it can move. Manitol. Motility medium. We'll try to explain on this weight. First, look at this uh, Craig tube uh, method. Okay, Craig tube method. Now, in Craig tube method, what happens? You have a test tube, right? Now, this test tube. <coughs> in this, you have another small tube. What are we trying to explain? Craig's tube. Okay. C R A I G E. Craig tube. To demonstrate motility. Okay. In this, you have some media here. So basically what is done in this inner tube, no, they will put this um, inoculation. Okay. After some time you see here, they will see some uh, subcultures. Okay. On the surface of the outer tube. 
So that will indicate motility. Say they move from here to here. So this is create tube. In uh, Salmonella they will use this. Okay. This is create tube technique. Now let us move on to hanging drop method. Okay. Hanging drop method is really cute. See they will take this cover slip. On the cover slip they will put this uh, bacteria uh, which is there in the broth. Right. They will put just one drop of it. Then they will cover it with the sl uh, slide. The slide know what they will do. They will just raise its, raise its edges so that the cover slip actually won't touch this um, uh, glass, right? It will be sitting on that. And this drop that you put now, it will be ulta. So, something like this you will get. Under the microscope, you want to watch this. This is the cover slip. Under that, it became like this. This is the hanging drop. Under that, you have this. This is your slide, this slide, this is here for support so that this cover slip doesn't fall, right? Like that you had kept uh, something so that this cover slip won't fall like this. This is hanging drop. So now what you do, you will watch it. You will observe it under the microscope. This will be hanging, right? This drop is hanging. That time not all this motile bacteria, they will move to these corners and they be there. So that is what is hanging drop method. In high power, you can actually see the motility of the bacteria. Did you understand? Cover slip is there here. This is slide. This cover slip, you have put the bacteria. Right? Then, you have put this cover slip on this slide. So, this um, drop is hanging now. Now, here from microscope, you will observe it. When you observe it from the microscope, this hanging drop, in the corner, na, there will be bacteria which are moving like that. So that is hanging drop method. Very interesting. Okay, then mannitol motility media, mannitol motility media and all every day we have done in the lab, right? So let us look at mannitol motility media. Mannitol motility media means what you will have on media, okay, in that you will have some, basically you have this mannitol motility media, <clears throat> in that you will give a stab. You will give a stab like this and you leave it. If this is motile, what will happen? After uh, you observe the next time, <coughs> it would have become like this. Like this. That's all mannitol motility media. This means it is motile. <coughs> so that is mannitol motility media. So, this is how you will demonstrate flagella or motility. So, you can demonstrate flagella or motility. Okay, this is the detection demonstration of flagella motility. Direct method, indirect method. Indirect method, you have Craig's tube, hanging drop method and mannitol motility media. Tannic acid and uh, dark ground microscopy and electron microscopy are direct methods. <coughs> Here actually you see the flagella, correct? in microscope and in tannic acid. Here, you don't see the flagella, you see the motility. Moving on now, demonstration of motility over. Now, we'll look at bacteria that are motile. We already have seen actually what types of motility we'll see. Okay, types of motility are like, we already told you, darting Darting motility, Vibrio cholerae, then you have tumbling motility, you have Listeria, swarming motility, Proteus, then you have gliding motility, you have Mycoplasma. Mycoplasma has gliding motility. So many other motilities are there, okay. Stately motility, corkscrew motility, lashing flexion, all those things. Spirochetes, now they have some kind of corkscrew, corkscrew motility. This should not be difficult, right? Spirochetes like uh, Tryponema pallidum and all. These, they are spiral, so obviously they will have some corkscrew motility like uh, flexion 
extension motility all this can be there okay <clears throat> is this clear darting motility vibrio cholerae swarming is proteus corkscrew flexion extension motility spirochetes mycoplasma is gliding it glides okay so that's all for now in this video we covered an important topic now flagella what are flagella thread like appendages organs of motility in bacteria you can see what is this tl oh it's got covered okay then uh, types arrangement arrangement of flagella we saw arrangement of flagella we saw monotrichus amphitrichus lophotrichus and peritrichus monotrichus is vibrio cholerae peritrichus is salmonella typhi e coli bacteria flagella sorry this slide should be removed there's nothing here then moving on to the structure of flagella we saw that it has three parts filament hook and basal body in gram negative there are four rings l p s m in gram positive only p and m will be there then demonstration we saw direct will be looking at the flagella indirect means you will demonstrate motility direct means you will directly view the flagella so here you have the tannic acid staining or the leaf sun method then you have the dark ground microscopy electron microscopy indirect you have craig's tube hanging drop and mannitol motility media okay then what else we saw types of motility we saw darting and vibrio cholerate swarming in proteus corkscrew flexion extension in spirochetes then gliding motility will be mycoplasma tumbling will be listeria okay now go be motile run and run away bye bye okay guys just one more thing you should know is don't get confused with flagella and fimbriae uh, you know fimbriae or pili these are used for adhesion okay sex so these are called as sex pili etc so these are also appendages but they are not for motility they are different from flagella remember that okay it's all for now guys uh, do one thing go motile from here go away from this video enjoy bye bye